Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mimi here with the topic. Are you easily bent or broken? What does it take to break you? What does it take to bend you? I live by thoughts, philosophies. I read books. I enjoy my favorite book is the Bible. Psalms keep me, you know, happy. I am not easily broken. I have faced situations that would rip or should have ripped me apart. But I stood firm because I bend, I don't break. What does it take to break me? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Listen, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all will be added unto you. That includes the armor of God. That includes you going through situation, not alone. Because the Lord is your shepherd. Do you listen to the voices in your head that says that you are to be broken by situation that they deem to break you? Or are you going to take on the armor of God to help you go through these situations? Now again, I ask you, are you bendable or are you breakable? I don't expect everybody to have the strength that I have. Or I don't profess to have, you know, superior strength. My strength came from all the battles that I had to fight. And I did not fight them alone. Because when I tried fighting them alone, there were no good results. The end results would be dire. So do you allow situations to break you or bend you? Do you bounce back after something that was placed out there or something that was attracted to you? Break you. How do I go through Situations that were meant to break me. I get up. There is a. There's a video on YouTube here. By Sarah. Jake's. T.D. Jake's daughter. That says girl get up. I would urge you to listen to it. Girl get up. You have failed marriage. Girl get up. You have a failed job. Girl, get up. You have failed relationships. Girl, get up. You are going through abuse physically, mentally, emotionally. Get up. Your character has been tainted. You have scars from your past. You have wounds that no one can see. But I urge you to get up. I urge you to pray. I urge you to go to Nee City. I urge you to focus on your goals. I urge you to get to know yourself. Quiet and silence your mind. And massage your mind with positive thinking. Eradicate all the negativity that surrounds you. The attack, the self-attack, the verbal, the physical, the emotional attacks. I urge you to find your purpose or ask God what your purpose is. Many of us are living lives that we don't know our purpose. And it drains us. It breaks us. 
we don't know whether we are supposed to go right or left. We don't know what path to choose. Don't seek for perfection. Seek to feel contented and enough in yourself, knowing that you are enough. Knowing that you have tried everything to be enough. Knowing that you are seeking true happiness. I urge you to get up. I urge you to spend time reading the word. I urge you right now if you're broken. To try and heal. Because there's not one broken vessel that God can mend. And when the whole world turn their backs on you, he will be your friend. He will pick up the pieces time and time again. Because there's not one broken vessel that God can't mend. I am living proof that God heals. He saves he mends, he provides, he protects, he covers. If I can go through it, you can too. It requires though that you believe in yourself. And you silencing the noise, silencing negativity, silencing the doubters, silencing the naysayers, silencing your own thoughts. Surrounding yourself with positivity. Embracing yourself. Loving yourself. Daily care routine. Seek comfort in God. The Bible teaches, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all, not some, all will be added unto you. I am gracefully, gracefully going through life, mended, shining, walking in my purpose. And I urge you to find out what your purpose is and walk the path that God has aligned for you. I leave you with this today. Know your worth. Are you a bamboo? Or are you a palm tree? I will elaborate on a bamboo versus a palm tree in another video. But ask yourself this question. That's your homework. Are you a bamboo? Or are you a palm tree? Leave you with this thought. It's not the height at which you are. It's the depth from which you came. Somebody ceiling will be your floor. God bless you. God love you. And love on yourself. Until next time. It's your girl Kamzi. Peace out.